Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and information on Path of Exile. And the first news, or the bigger news this week, of course, has been the launch of the 3.0 update, the Fall of Ariath, which has been pretty smooth, except there was a problem at the beginning, so the realm crashed a few times, but GGG fixed it and it's been smooth sailing since then. And the game is definitely amazing. But there are still a couple more news, and the first one has been the rewards and the challenges for the league so of course we've already seen the rewards the eyes at 12 challenges the crown at 24 challenges and the character effect at the 36 challenges and we also got uh, of course a preview of all of the challenges of course you can check those in game but if you haven't had the chance yet uh, be sure to do so on the site here and as usual there's a lot of uh, repeated challenges from the previous leagues, for example completing twinned maps, completing 8 mod maps, completing un uh, unideated maps or unique maps, so those are the common ones, but the harder ones are definitely uh, pretty damn long. C defeat 1337 map bosses, I guess given the number that double and triple bosses count, but we'll have to see about that, they're still killing Uber Zivi, they're still killing the Shaper and there are the endgame grinds which are uh, incredibly grindy of course so nothing too surprising there I think uh, the challenges these leagues are pretty doable I mean, if you've participated in other leagues uh, you'll definitely be able to improve on your own challenges this time around so that's pretty good and hopefully we'll get some more interesting challenges like this one which is uh, not taking damage from a specific skill against a specific boss uh, both you and your party so that's actually pretty interesting uh, maybe GG is actually testing the ground for some different type of challenges we'll have to see about that but still pretty nice also we got a development manifesto about chill shock and charges and the changes related to those of course so first the power and fancy charges that was released the change that was released recently in the beta uh, has been reverted people didn't really like it so gg uh, went back on their choices and the only difference now is that power charges only have a 40 percent increase crit chance instead of 50 so that's how that ended up chill and shock instead are now very different so chill and shock used to need a very big hit to apply a long duration of the effect. Now the time is always the same, however depending on how hard you hit the enemy uh, the effect of the shock and the chill will be different and also there are points that actually improve the effect of the ailments and points that uh, increase the duration so that you can actually base your build on these ailments and there are a lot of ailments, non-damaging ailments points on the passive tree you'll see that if you haven't seen that yet and also there were a couple uh, jewels that were released by error like the straight and true for the split arrow one I uh, maybe you saw the video on reddit that looked pretty uh, OP so to speak those have been of course not released yet and might not be released ever so don't think about those yet we'll see if they ever end up being uh, uh, into the game. Also, of course, we got the patch notes. Uh, and we already saw everything. These patch notes are pretty damn long, although if you haven't had the chance to check them out or if you missed some of the news for the past weeks, uh, you might want to take a look at it. It's going to, like, to take you a couple hours to read through all of those, so good luck in them. I'll just put the link in the description below. And also, since there's new items and new currencies and new quest items and all that kind of stuff GG released all of the information for the item filters if you have a item filter, if you're running one, if you're trying to maintain one these are all of the things you need and be sure to check those out if you actually uh, don't want to miss any of the good items for now you can also use the standard filter, I've been using that for a while, I never really uh, used it too much but I find it uh, pretty damn useful and it works, it's it's much better than I actually expected so there's that and yeah that was really all for this week, I know it's, it's a pretty short one but everyone is pretty much uh, busy playing 
the game of course since it's just after launch these are one of the most important times into the leagues if you want to make currency and also where the hype is at the top so it actually feels much better to play right now than it will feel uh, in a month down the line so there you go uh, if you enjoyed the video leave a like and a comment down below other than that if you want to remain updated every week be sure to subscribe to my channel so that was all I've been your host Orzon and I'll see you guys the next time.